Hey everyone, welcome back to Nutrition Made Simple, a series that we created that takes a look at ideas surrounding natural health topics and we break them down into easy to understand and actionable steps. My name is Brian Strickland. I'm joined again today by Ed Jones. He's the uh, founder and owner of Nutrition World. And today we're taking a look at one specific single nutrient, and that's rose hips. Now, rose hips is something that may not be on the radars of many people. It's a very interesting and unique nutrient that we wanted to touch on just very briefly today. And so that's just what we're going to do. Um, so, Ed, just starting off very quickly, can you tell us what rose hips are, how they're sourced, and, um, yeah, just a little bit about them? Absolutely. I am absolutely thrilled to talk about it because for aches and pains, I have discovered something, and it's not that I discovered it. Hey, I'll tell you a real quick story. I had this car right before. I know this is weird. A car that I owned for 12 years had 150,000 miles on it. A month before I sold it, someone got in the back seat and said, I'm going to pull the armrest down. I said, armrest? I didn't know there was an armrest in this car. (laughs) That's what I did with rose hips. I've had two people come in and say how much better they felt. So what did I do? I went to PubMed.gov. That's where they post ethical, honest, scientific information about all aspects of health, drugs, nutrients. Found one, almost 1,000 references to rose hips and 93 for arthritis. Mm. So what are rose hips? Actually comes from the straight rose plant. And it was used throughout centuries. In fact, in Britain in World War II, there were volunteers who went and gathered tons of rose hips to make an elixir syrup for sick children. Mm. I was blown away when I looked into the research because I've been doing this my whole life. I kind of thought that I knew things, and obviously I didn't. I learned so much. So I'm excited about telling people about this this remedy that's inexpensive, very safe, and seems to be uh, amazing for different health conditions. Yeah, so it's almost kind of like a little berry that's produced on the rose plant, Mm -hmm. um, from my understanding. Um, So what is so unique about it? What kind of nutrients do these rose hips have? Well, you know, Brian, again, I was uh, profoundly amazed when I really dug in the research. Rose hips have a tremendous variety of nutrients from manganese, which is wonderful for our Mm -hmm. joints. Of course, everybody knows the word rose hips from one place. That's vitamin C with rose hips. So everyone just assumes, including me, that it just had vitamin C. No, it has vitamin K. It has magnesium. It has vitamin A. It has a host of nutrients that support our health from the earth. I am still convinced that what grows on this earth is still the best nutrients there are. It's just we can't always get everything we can from that, so we have to supplement. Right. Um, And they can be found in supplements like these in capsules. Um, You can often find them in teas as well. Um, And before we talk about kind of what you're excited about um, as far as their potential benefits, um, is there anyone that should stay away from these? Good question. And of course, anyone with medical conditions who's going to embrace something, especially at Nutritional World, we're not here to treat or diagnose. But check with your medical doctor if you have serious issues. But the main ones are pregnancy, breastfeeding, diabetes, and oddly, if you have a big tendency for kidney stones or mm-hmm. you're on Coumadin or you're on lithium, those are two of the bigger ones that people need to probably be concerned about because the dose of this is moderately high. Yeah. In the research for uh, arthritis and aches and pains, it was 12-week studies, most of them, not overnight, and they were using about 5,000 milligrams. So okay. guess what? I started using this last week when you asked me to do an article or post on this. So that's you know that's a good number of pills, but I'm doing half in the morning and half in the evening with food. That's they, they must do it with food. And, uh, you know, I'll report back on that because I have, you know, I got a few miles on me with a little bit of <laughs> hobbling uh, hip issues at times, but this getting better. Yeah, and on that note, that's something that you're really excited about, rose hips in particular is its benefits for arthritis and joint pain. So can you just tell us a little bit about that mechanism, how it works and what it mm-hmm. does exactly? You know, some things in in the nature's pharmacy is what we call it, uh, which is still the most perfect medicine because it has the least amount of side effects, very low cost, and seems to be effective if done properly. In fact, the World Health Organization says that 75% of the world still uses botanical medicine. Mm-hmm. That's natural herbal medicine. And, of course, the reasons are what I just mentioned. And as far as the mechanism, it is anti-inflammatory. So the longer you take it, the less inflammation that we have. If you heard me talk any time about many things, 
if we want to age properly, Brian, we need to have the lowest inflammation we can as we age because that is corrosive to our system. And sometimes inflammation doesn't mean pain. It can actually mean things that are inflamed with no pain, like arteries Mm -hmm. uh, with hips and, and, and joints. Of course, there is some pain. Hey, I'm been on it about six days. I right now am... I think I'm feeling some definite positive effects, okay. but I'm going to, you know, do the 12-week program like uh-huh. they talk about on on the medical research and see how it goes because it's so safe, it's so easy, it's less than ten dollars for a bottle. Yeah, why not try it? And on that note, how can individuals use this? I know this one is about five mm-hmm. five hundred and fifty milligrams of rose hips per veggie cap, and you touched on that you have to take it at high dose now. Obviously, that's going to be several pills a day. Are there, you know, actual rose hips that people can find and mm-hmm. incorporate into their diet? How do the teas compare? Can you great just question? Touch on that? Great question. Because when I really delved into it, which is what I do when I'm interested, uh, I'm doing four in the morning and four with supper. Okay. I'm doing eight a day. They're small capsules, very easy, very inexpensive. But you can easily take a rose if you're growing them and consume them if they've not been sprayed with pesticides. And in fact, the research shows you want to consume it when it's the best color, you know, not before it's really mature and not too long after. Mm-hmm. And it's extremely safe. The seeds of a rose in high amounts is like the seeds of apricots and peaches. Real high amounts can be toxic, so we don't eat yeah. the seeds, but we can eat the part out here. And if you have roses and you don't spray them with chemicals, feel free to consume it from the real food. Mm, that's really interesting. All right, man. Well, that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. We hope that this was helpful for you guys. As always, please like and subscribe for more content just like this. And we'll see you next time on Nutrition Made Simple. Take care. Be well. Thank you.